What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Ken coming to you with another video, man. This time I'm looking at game one of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Cleveland, Cla Cleveland Cavaliers and the <clears throat> Boston Celtics. Uh, not much of a game in this one. 117-104 uh, final score. Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers win game one in Boston. Um, take a 1-0 lead in this best of seven series for the chance to represent the East in the NBA Finals. Uh, again, man, that the the, the thirteen point the thirteen point margin uh, in a uh, victory, the hell is Shaq doing? <laughs> is, uh, is 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 not what uh, is not what uh, is not as close as. Is the the, the mar thirteen point margin victory is not as close as this game was. It's not it's not as close as this game was. You know, you know they always say that you know the the, uh, the score doesn't indicate you know the the game, and it, it wasn't. It was it was it was a straight beat down by the Cavaliers. Obviously, the Celtics still coming off of uh, the very emotional game seven victory over the Washington Wizards was that Monday night, and then you know you had to turn around two days later. And you have to uh, face uh, the best player in the game right now, you know, uh, off of, what, what was that, nine days rest? I mean, and, and I was watching something on ESPN earlier about, you know, uh, his efficient, his player rating and his efficiency and his scoring and all that after uh, eight plus days rest, you know, it was uh, some he had a, like a forty three point some rating rating in the in the highest uh uh in in the highest before that in history was thirty one point some I was like Damn man the dude the dude gets it done. The dude get the dude has gotten it done. You know, uh I mean I mean he doesn't give team I mean, well in the first at least in the first and second rounds, he doesn't give teams a chance, you know. He's already got the most sweeps in NBA history. Uh, he just doesn't give his teams a chance. He doesn't give the team a breathe. <clears throat> he doesn't uh, give teams a chance to breathe. You know, uh, if 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 they are inferior, uh, LeBron and his team, whether it's Miami or Cleveland, they get rid of it. They get rid of them like they should be, like like they should. You know, they don't give that. They don't give that other team any hope, and. You know, it could be beneficial. It could not. It could not be. You know, obviously, uh, the the longer rest for Cleveland didn't have the same effect as the rest did on Golden State in Game One. But obviously, you know, two different teams in the Spurs and the Celtics. You know, uh, like I said, all that's all this game was missing was was. Uh, 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 was a uh, LeBron James jump shot and somebody stepping under him to uh, roll his ankle or something? That's all. That's all this game was missing. But yeah, uh, uh, Cleveland gets it done, man. And, and mostly, it was mostly uh, James and Love tonight. LeBron, thirty-eight points, fourteen of twenty-four shooting, uh, nine rebounds, seven assists. Knowing it again, what I'm what I'm really proud of as a I mean I'm a LeBron fan. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that, you know. And I've been a fan of his before he came in the league, you know. For all for all of y'all said, oh he jumping on the bandwagon. Anybody that know me know that that I was a LeBron fan way before. Uh, uh well I was a LeBron, I was a LeBron fan when they was uh talking about him uh uh in high school. So yeah, uh, and I've been there through uh, through everything. You know, through the first seven years in Cleveland, you know the the horrible loss to uh, the Magic in the Eastern Conference Finals, the decision, the horrible decision. You know, well to, to do it on national TV, I say that much, in the fashion they did it. You know, in the, coming up short in the NBA Finals against Dallas. You know, being a superstar, not living up to a superstar moniker. You know, what I'm saying I get on LeBron for it before anybody will. So. You know the, all the travels <laughs> that he gets away with, and all the crying for fouls that he do. You know, I said I, I get at him. I, I get at him before anybody. I'm still a fan of his because hey, can't nobody stop him. It's people. It might be guys that can slow him down, or you know, make him not as effective. But you know, I, I'm still a fan of LeBron every, every day, man. But yeah, 
I mean, I'm really proud of his free throw shooting. His free throw shooting is really uh, improving. You know, he was a uh, 67% in the regular season, 73% in the playoffs. Uh, 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 nine of 11 uh, shooting tonight, and that that was, that was one of LeBron's biggest problems. He always got to the rim. He's always he's always getting the and ones or getting two shots at the free throw line. But sometimes he'd only knock knock down one of two, or he he would miss it to the uh, uh, and one opportunity or whatever. But I mean. This dude is hitting jump shots, and he's and he's knocking down his free throws more frequently. You know what? What? What the hell can you do? What can you do, man? I'm I, like <laughs> the dude is incredible. I mean, it looks like he might. I mean, he might make his seventh consecutive finals appearance. Now, will he win the championship? You know, Golden State's looking really good on the west side, man, with Kevin Durant. That's that's that's, that's going to be hell. That's going to be hell tough for LeBron to win another championship, especially this year. It's, I mean, especially how hard it was last year for uh, the James and the Cavaliers to beat the Warriors. Then now, now the Warriors have Kevin Durant. It's going to be extremely tough. But you know that's neither here nor there right now. They still got to win three more games in this series. But like I said, uh, James thirty-eight, nine and seven, nine of eleven from the free throw line. That's what I'm really proud of. That's what I'm really proud of. His free throw shooting. He shot one of six from three tonight. I don't like that. He, I think he, I've always said he needs to, you know, lead the threes for his for his teammates <laughs> and just get to the bucket, you know. But it is what it is, man. He has improved in his three point shooting. You know, I give him that. But uh, the other star of the game, Kevin Love, thirty two points, nine of sixteen shooting, very efficient. Uh, 12 rebounds on the night, six of nine from three-point range. Uh, he's stepping up, man. He's 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 really stepping up, big time. Uh, uh, I'm I'm glad. <laughs> I, to be honest, I mean I'm really glad uh, Kevin Kevin Love has 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 had the game that he's had, but I'm really glad that he was able to escape game one without a separated shoulder. <laughs> hey, nothing to my man on any. Uh, he he showed out in uh, game seven, uh, but <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, it was history. It's history, you know. Uh, Tristan Thompson, Tristan Thompson, a playoff career high, uh, twenty points, twenty points. Didn't miss a shot from the field. Seven of seven, and nine rebounds. Like, who saw this coming? I mean, who saw this coming? Seriously. Who saw that coming out of Tristan Thompson? I, I should say both Kevin Love and Tristan Thompson with uh, playoff career highs in a, in a, uh, points. And that was basically it for the Cavaliers, man. Those three guys, you know, uh, Ky, Kyrie didn't have a good night shooting. He only had 11 points on 11 shots as well. He did have six assists, but, you know, uh, he's got he's got to pick it up, but I'm just saying if if, if Cleveland can get can get uh and, and they can they, they they've they've been getting it all playoffs if Cleveland can get production out of Tristan Thompson like that if they can get uh if they can have Love uh do what he does and if they can get Kyrie going like and, and uh they can get a guy like uh Corver or Williams or Jefferson going off the bench then. I mean, a lot of people think that it's going to be a sweep. I don't think so. I think Boston can squeak out um, two games, make it a six-game series. Like I said, you, uh, you'll see that if you watch my Eastern Commerce preview video. But uh, I, I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be tough for Boston, man. It's definitely going to be tough for Boston. Now, Boston, you know, they really didn't have a bad night, I, I should say. Uh I said Thomas. He was set, he was uh had 17 points off 19 shots. That's really not good. But he had 10 assists though, so double double for him. Avery Bradley. He's been up and down offensively all playoffs, but he had a good he had a good game tonight. 21 points off eight of 16 shooting, uh, four rebounds. Jay Crowder had 21 points off eight of 13 shooting, very efficient. Eight points, five assists. Well, that's a really good stat line for him. That's a really good stat line for Jay Crowder. Um. 
Uh, Jalen Brown at 10 points, 5 of 7 off the bench, really nice. 9 rebounds as well. Really good performance off the bench for uh, Jalen Brown. You know, any production that where you get a guy that scores 10 points off the bench and grabs 5-plus rebounds, you know, that, that's, that, that, that's, that's really a bonus. That's really a bonus. Olenek, the hero in game uh, game seven, but only had two points tonight. One of six shooting. So you might have left some of that hot shooting back in back on Monday in game seven. We'll see, see how he bounces back. You know, uh, again, Brown was the best guy off the bench tonight. Rozier only gave two points. Smart, he played 21 minutes. He, uh, he only had six points. Uh, he had two steals on defense. He, he was he was uh, he was good. He was effective defensively. Three rebounds, three assists. Uh, also fouled out. He, you know, you, if you watch the game, he had that moment with Tristan Thompson. But was, both of them was going for a rebound, and then Thompson had words with uh, Thomas afterward. Uh, that playoff, they, like, like they said, playoff intensity at its finest. But yeah, man. Uh, it was basically a well. It was basically a three-man game on both sides, and uh, Cleveland won the three-man battle. You know, again, James with thirty-eight, Love with thirty-two, Thompson with twenty. You know, Love and Thompson again playoff career highs for them. And you know, I mean, Cleveland's always going to have that third guy. You just don't know who it's going to be. You know, like I said, they've got so many guys that uh. That's that's uh that's dangerous. You know, Corver, he only had three points tonight. Uh he was one of six shooting from three point range. I don't expect him to have another game like that the rest of the series. I mean, dude, I mean he's a shooter, he's gonna keep shooting and, and once he keeps shooting, that them them shots are gonna fall. Them shots are gonna fall. And, you know, Williams only had two points off the bench. Shumpern had three. Uh, Jr. Starter, he only had two points. Uh, really, really wasn't that effective. You know, I, I was wondering about that. I, th- I, know, I know the series is going to be. <clears throat> it's going to be more about uh, Smith's defense. You know, especially if they put him on a, a, a Thomas and not, and they they've had they had done. They're going to have LeBron play Thomas sometimes. You just try to get the ball out of his hand, you know, make somebody else beat you. You know, again, Bradley and uh, Corver, excuse me, I'm sorry, Bradley and uh, Crowder, I'm sorry, had 21 points each, but just not enough tonight, man. LeBron and the Cavs, they take over. They took over Boston, one game one, 117-104. Again, the 13-point margin of victory is not <laughs> – as close as, as as the game would indicate, but the game was not as close as the score would indicate, but yeah, man, Boston got some work to do. They got some work to do. Uh, we'll see, We'll see, man. We'll see. I mean, hell, they went down 2-0 against the Bulls on the road, you know, the win, losing the first two games at home, so you never know. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching, man. I appreciate y'all. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the game. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, uh, and for those of you that are, I uh, appreciate, I want, again, I appreciate you and I wish you nothing but positive vibes only. I'll see you in the next video.